Hi there, I'm Dassey from Partners in Crime GFX, and in this video, I'm going to show you an outro template I created completely in free software called Blender, and I'm going to show you how to edit it. If you don't have Blender, you can download it from the link provided in the description of this video. This template is available on our website along with a bunch of other cool templates, so keep an eye on our website if you want professional graphics and free software. Just check out the links in the description and edit to your heart's content. The outro will be shown in the last 20 seconds of this video, so for now, we're going to show you how to edit one. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is select our gradient background. So to do that, we're just going to come up into the search tab and we're going to type in gradient. And we're just going to press that icon so that we can see the actual background. And we're going to right click on the background to select the background so that we can change the color of the background to any color we'd like. So what we're going to do is come over into the materials tab. And we're going to make sure that we have our background selected by right clicking until that turns green. So then we know that we have the background selected. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change the color to red. And we're also going to right click on our element up here. And we're going to change the color of our element from green to red. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the text. So we're just going to erase that search bar and we're going to look for the parent object of the text. So we're just going to go to parent object 003 and we're going to press the plus on that. And what you're going to do is you're going to select each text. And you're going to press tab once your text is selected and then you're going to erase the text. And then you're going to type whatever text you like to type here. You're just going to type a custom text. And we're going to press tab. And we're going to do the same thing for each of our text objects. Whatever you like at top, you put at top. Whatever you like at bottom, you put on the bottom. So we've selected one of our bottom text objects. And what we're going to do now is we're going to press tab. And we're going to erase that. And we're going to type our own text at the bottom. And we're going to press tab to confirm it. And then you're just going to keep repeating it. You're going to select the text, then you're going to press tab, then you're going to erase the text. Then you type your own text and you press tab to confirm. And we're just going to keep repeating this until all the texts are changed. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to select the bottom loading bar. We're going to change the color of the bottom loading bar. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that from green to let's say red. And we'll change that to a the orangish red. And we'll change this to the orangish red. Orangish red as well. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look for our particles. We're going to come over here by holding down shift and dragging the middle mouse button. And we're going to zoom in by scrolling in and we're going to right click on one of our particles. So now we're just going to change the color of the particles to red. Again, you can change the color to any color you like. For the purpose of this tutorial, we're just making it red. So we're going to right click on our other particle. And we're also going to change the color of this particle to red. So we're going to right click on it and we're going to make sure we've got it selected. And we're just going to change the color to red. And so now as you can see our particles are now red. So now what we're going to do is right click on the background of the loading bar. And we're going to change the color of this loading bar from green to red. So we're just going to select that. We're going to change it to red. We're going to select the one behind it as well. And we're going to change that one to red as well. And we're going to select this last one and change it to a brighter red. And what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on our elements. 
on our border elements here. And what we're going to do is change the color of our border elements. We're going to change the color of our border elements from green to red. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the render layers tab. And we're going to hold down shift and we're going to select that layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into render view. And as you can see, we still have some borders that are green. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into solid view. And we're going to change the color of the rest of our text. And then we'll come back down and do the rest of the colors on the border. So we're going to change the, that color to red. And again, you select the text by right clicking. And then we're just going to change the color over here in these tabs. We're just changing them to red. And what we're going to do is right click on our circle element, our subscribe circle element, and we're going to change the color of our subscribe circle element as well. So we're just going to change that color from green to red. And lastly, we're going to change the color of the rest of our borders. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our border. And what we're going to do is we'll change the color of the border. From green to red. And again, you can change the color to any color you like. And what we're going to do now is we're going to go into render view again. And as you can see, we've changed the colors of our elements. Now what you can also do is, if you don't want a gradient element on your other text, we're going to select this text. And what we're going to do is, we'll just give the bottom text the same material as the top text. So we're going to go into the Materials tab, and this is Material 301. So what we're going to do now is we're going to right click on that back text. And what we're going to do is we're going to change that back text to material 301. And we're going to go back into render view. And this makes the colors match just a little bit more. So now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to save this out so that it renders out as a video. You're going to want to come over here into the camera tab. And you're going to want to change the output for it. And you choose a folder on your computer for it to save to. You can choose any folder you like. We're just going to choose our documents. And it's going to be named Blender Outro Zombie Slayer. You can also erase this and type whatever you like. And then you press accept. So we're going to go back into the render layers tab. Make sure you hold down shift and deselect this layer. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save your file under a different name. Once you've saved it under a different name, you can choose a folder on your computer to save it to, and save it as a Blender file. And what you're going to want to do is render out your animation by pressing Render, and then Render Animation, and then you'll have your intro rendered out. So if you want some professional graphics and free software, don't forget to check out our website. You can also subscribe for more and turn on your YouTube notifications so that you're notified of any new templates we release.